Hi everyone, I'm Cindy from Skip to My Lou, and I'm here to show you how to make this photo wrapped canvas. I'll be using Adobe Photoshop Elements 2018, the guided water effect. So um, there's a few supplies you'll need for this project if you want to do it at home. Um, I used a pre-made cotton canvas. It's, I got it at the craft store um, and you can get a whole bunch of different sizes. So um, one thing you can do is make your own using stretcher bars. I um, think this is easier just to get the um, canvas pre-made. You also need a staple gun and then some cot printable cotton canvas. I'm going to leave the link to this paper in the comments so you can grab some if you want. Also, there'll be a link to the full tutorial with pictures and more information about making this canvas at home. So, first let me show you a little bit about this um, watercolor effect. It's super easy to do. Okay, hold on. So what you're going to do is open up your photo in the Photoshop Elements Editor and you'll come up here to Guided. Um, you're, you'll see all these guided edits. What I love most about the Adobe Photoshop Elements is all the um, edits. But the best part is, is they go step by step. So you don't have to have any guesswork. It's just eas easily done. So I come up here to guide it. Then I'm going to choose special edits. You can see there's a variety of edits. So you can replace the background, depth of field. If we scroll down, you'll see this watercolor effect. I want my photo canvas to be like a painting. So that's why I chose this one. So here's my photo. And then I come over to the right side and you'll see this watercolor effect and it shows you right here when you hover over what you're going to see. So down here it says choose a watercolor effect. So there's um, three different effects. I'm going to choose this first one. And as you can see it immediately turns my photo into a beautiful watercolor. It has all the little details and elements of a watercolor painting. So then next, we choose the watercolor paper. This is an overlay that gives the brush strokes like a real watercolor. So I'm gonna choose, I'll play around with a few here. Just some different ideas before I choose. And there's a, um, you can choose how, um, the opacity of the edit right here. I think I'm going to go back to this one. I like the brush strokes here at the top and along the bottom. And then let me adjust it just a little bit. There, I think that looks great. So then I come down here and I'm going to choose a canvas texture. So this is great because it actually gives the paper a little bit of texture to mimic a canvas. I'm not going to do too much because I'm actually printing on the um, cotton paper and it has a texture. But let me show you a few different ones here. And again, you can change the intensity of this edit by just scrolling using this little slider bar. Gives it a really large texture down to more fine. I think I'm going to use this one and bring my intensity up just a little bit. Okay, now there's a refine edit brush, which this is really great because if you notice when we put the overlay on the photo, I got a little dark spot under her eye, which is just a brush stroke and it's fine, but I would like to remove that. So I'm gonna bring down the size of my brush just a little bit. Yeah, that's right. And then again, I can change the intensity of this um, edit too if I would like, but I think I need it um, right there. And then I just um, click on it, and if you can see, that um, dot was removed from under her eye. Now, you can easily also add type. I'm not going to this time, but it's just as, as it walks you through, just you click here, and then you can add your type. Okay, so that was super simple and I have a watercolor. Now, um, we're gonna hit next. And there's a lot of things we can do. We can save this and print it later. We can even continue editing if you would like. Also, I love that you can share this photo to Facebook, Flickr, Twitter, whatever. 
And don't forget, I am leaving an M, a coupon in the comments that you can have a free trial to try out this software for yourself. Okay, so we're done, but I'm gonna print now. So come up to file and then print. So for my project, I do need this actual size. I'm, I made sure my photo was eight and a half by 11. So we're, we'll set, select the print size over here. And then um, I also make sure that the image is centered and then we're ready to print. So here, I don't know if, you can, if I can get close enough, but you can kind of see the paper and it has this texture. It is fabric with a paper backing. So in my printer, it goes in, oops, let me, I'm gonna remove that paper here. In my printer, it goes with the fabric side down. You'll just wanna check the instructions of your printer to make sure it's right. And don't forget, um, I'm adding, leaving a link in the comments so you can find which paper I used. This is just a, ha um, happens to be a brand of paper I like. Um, I noticed there are many others. Okay. So I think we're ready. And then I'm gonna hit print. Let's hope it goes. This is always the moment of truth here. Sometimes my printer is a little sketchy, but I think it should work great. So I've had a lot of fun trying out this um, Adobe Photoshop Elements 2018. I don't know if you saw a couple weeks ago, I actually made a notebook with the, the shape overlay. There's just so many cool edits you can do. And I love that they walk you through step by step so there's no guesswork. And they're making it super easy, Adobe is, by offering this coupon. So I urge you to give it a try. You can edit photos like a pro. Okay, this is taking its own sweet time. It does take longer to print on this paper for some reason. I'm not sure if it's the texture. Um, I was going to show you on this that... Um, I think this would be so cool to make a grouping on the wall with these. And um, this paper, um, this is the largest you can do, is a five by seven. You can do smaller. I think a whole little group of small ones would be great. It will be easier if you get a um, more narrow canvas. However, I love this. Um, it just looks more substantial, I think, on your wall with the wider canvas. But um, this certainly, it does make it a little more difficult when we start stapling, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, it's starting to come out. As you can see, it does a great job. And that um, effect, the watercolor effect, looks so good, like I actually painted this. So, isn't that great? I have more, I notice I have more texture on this one than I do on this one. I might, if I was to do it again, use a little less texture, but I do love how it turned out. Okay, so this paper um, has a, I mean, the, this is the cotton fabric part, so it actually is fabric. And then this is the paper, so I'm just gonna peel it off. And then, um, I do like that it's sticky. It, makes it easier to get it all placed. Okay. I go ahead and I'm leaving this canvas on. You could remove it, or again, remember I said you could make your own. You can actually buy these wooden stretcher bars um, at your craft store. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this down and then I'm gonna get it all lined up. And it took me just a minute here. I want to make sure I have enough on each side, but I also want to make sure that I, I think I'm going to move it over just a little bit and down just a little bit. And 
while the paper's sticky, it's not too sticky. So you can get it back up if you need to um, pretty easily. Okay, let me see if that's better. Still, actually, I think I'm gonna move it up a little. So I grab more of her headband. So you can order these wrapped canvases online and they can be so pricey. So this is a great way to make a canvas right at home. This paper is fairly inexpensive. I have a Prime account, so it ended up being under $10 um, with free shipping. I'm pretty sure you could get it at a local craft store also. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna kind of pull it and make sure it's tight since it's sticky. I, can, I wanna make sure that it doesn't have any wrinkles. So you're gonna bring up the side. I'm just gonna kind of, one thing I do is I put the fold at the top I think it makes it less noticeable. So I'm gonna bring in the corners like that and crease. And crease. And hold on, it's not quite even. Let me try that again. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring this up and around. Okay, and then this is just a staple gun. I kind of missed it a little bit, but no worries, we'll catch it again on the other side. Okay, so to make a canvas really tight, we'll go to the opposite side next. I'm going to turn it around. And I'm just always working to make sure that... Um, I keep it as tight as possible. I'm going to fold in the corners. And if you see, we don't have much to work with here. And it still works. And again, I, I, I'm doing this because I like how wide this looks on my wall. But it is easier if you use the more narrow canvas. But this works perfectly also. So now I have the ends done. So now I'm gonna go to this side. And then again, I go to the opposite side. And then you keep working in this way. So now I'm gonna come up here. And then I'm gonna actually flip it and go to the opposite side on the bottom. And you're gonna keep working that way, always doing an opposite side. That will keep your um, canvas really tight. Oops, I missed. It's kind of hard to judge there. Okay, so just keep going. And when this is a little tricky right here because of the size of the canvas. So to see that I'm making a small little fold and then I'll put the staple across it okay. and then you're just going to keep doing that and actually remember I'm going to go to the opposite side first I'm going to get it right here I'm left-handed and sometimes it's I think it would be fun to do a whole grouping of these canvases from a family vacation. 
And don't forget, in the links, I added a, um, I mean, in the comments, there's a link to the actual photo, um, photo tutorial of this on my blog, skiptomylou.org. And then there's the free trial. So you can all give this the Adobe Photoshop Elements 2018 a try yourself. I think you'll be amazed at how easily it is to edit photos. Okay, I think we're almost there. Um, if you decide that you want a huge one um, of these wrapped canvases, you could do this whole whole process and then email the photo to your um, local printer and they could actually print it on really large pieces of paper and the thing about that works good is even though you won't be able to use the fabric because we're able to add the texture of a canvas it will still look great okay there we go so super easy to do it's a great project I think kids would have a fun time doing this too and then be so proud to see all their pictures up on the wall so thank you. Don't forget all the links in the comments. Bye.